Perhaps there are a good number of people among us, my dear brothers and sisters, who are good at twisting things. Perhaps also nicknamed as manipulators. Because there is a way of getting around certain things, convincing others about something that is not true. And thus defiling a person's good name. This was the case with Jesus. They would take anything to just condemn him and accuse him of blasphemy and also eventually execute him. They were not convinced about the signs that he worked and they and their authority felt threatened. And that was the main point in today's gospel. They were worried that everyone would start believing in Jesus and the Romans would come and take away not only the power, take over their place, but take over their nation as well. And therefore Jesus now becomes a threat. In our own lives, my dear brothers and sisters, do we find others who become threats to us? Perhaps because of the good that they are doing, because they are working hard and climbing up the ladder of success, because power and position and authority is given to them and not to us. And therefore, maybe we will start maligning their good name, we will start bringing them down, and we will indulge in character assassination. We pray at this Eucharist, my dear brothers and sisters, that we may not fall prey to such temptations, but start learning to accept people just the way they are, to start perhaps acknowledging the good in others, and the fact that others may be deserving a lot more than us. Like Jesus, may we too stay calm in such circumstances, accepting whatever God's will is for us in our lives. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.